What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are in the Bands for Arms shop. You can see this, this place is full of a lot of cool stuff which I'm going to show you in a little bit here. We're going to take a look at everything. We're going to go on a little pop hunt and show you what this place is all about. So let's get started. So we can't talk about Bands for Arms without actually talking about the bands for the arms. Like this is this is where everything started at. Like this, th this is what the shop is all about and if you haven't seen these before, there's so many different patterns and these look really amazing. And I mean, look at, look at all this that you have to choose from. All of these bands here are made from donated recycled military uniforms. There's so many cool patterns. Like there's literally, like you know how Funko has, everybody's a fan of something. There's those many categories for all of these as well. Look at that, we got some Pokemon down here. I mean, literally whatever you need, they probably have a style for it. I mean, just so many different patterns on all of these. With each bracelet sold, 50% of the sale price goes back to many of the military charities, Bands for Arms support. So there you go, that's all you need right here. And this is kind of where everything started and, and then it just kind of blew up into <laughs> everything here. All right, so we're gonna start in the back over here. Now you can see that Things are actually categorized and organized on the different shelves, which I will show you. It's, it's pretty nice. So we do have, uh, you can see right here, there is just a bunch of different pops on this wall. But if we turn around here, we have, you know, stuff like, uh, like the movies. And then we have TV over here. We have some Masters of the Universe. And I mean, there's just, there's so much stuff happening here around every corner. Uh, we got a bunch of DC properties right here, some ad icons. Uh, we do also have, uh, oh, the, look at these, the uh, Avengers Assemble stuff from Amazon. Those are pretty cool. And then over here, we have a slew of Disney stuff. If you're a Disney fan, they pretty much got you covered. This is a really cool Mad Hatter pop right here. And we have the Disney Parks exclusive Rainbow Unicorn as well. And down here, more and more Disney. Seems like Disney takes up a lot of room, right? They, they have a lot of pops. Um, and then over here, we do have a lot of Marvel stuff as well. This is the uh, Red Hulk from Hot Topic. We have uh, the Gold Chrome Black Widow. I used to have like the full set of these Gold Chrome pops back in the day. And uh, then we have some more Avengers Endgame stuff. And right beneath that, Star Wars. All kinds of Star Wars pops. Look at those two right there. Over here, we have an anime shelf um, with uh, various things like Bakugan. We have Pokemon. Um, there are some random other ones down here as well, uh, like some ad icons near the bottom and whatnot. Um, but you can see here that there is quite the selection if you're an anime fan. And you can think of this place as kind of like a nice starter shop. Like if you're trying to get going into pops, they, they've got they got you covered as far as like getting going. You know what I mean? Like you can you can find some pretty good deals here, and um, well. You can get, win some pretty cool prizes too, which is another component. Uh, they do sell uh, mystery bags here that will come with these little scratchers here that you can see. So this is actually, uh, these are ones that are taped around here that people have won before. So this is the Hunt for Russell, and it's a scratcher game. And so you can win anything from gift cards to other pops to be able to pick a pop from these different prize shelves. And then of course, in the glass case here, we have grails that you can win from those, uh, from, from those mystery bags. So we have scratchers behind each one. And then of course, if you scratch off and you, you know, have Cheshire Cat under there, you're gonna win that pop, or like this Chase set, or Thor. And like I said, there are various shelves here. We have shelf A, shelf B, shelf C. And depending on what you pull, Look at that, so this one has like a few different games here. I mean, they're they're kind of fun. Like, I mean, look at that. Got a little Freddy under there. You already won the prize. So there's just a lot of cool little scratchers here that you can see. It kind of gives you a good idea how you win that. You, you purchase a mystery bag, you get a scratcher ticket, scratch it off, pick from here, or if you're lucky, you get one of those top grails over at the top. Now, speaking of grails too, also in these cabinets, we have more sought after pops. Like, you know, these are definitely ones that are gonna be a little more hard to find. Stuff that you don't just want sitting on the shelf, but still, these aren't like, you're not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on these pops in this nice case, because again, like I said, 
this is a really good uh, place to get your collection started. And so these, while they're not like super mega grails, they're definitely harder ones to find, but it's gonna be a lot better for you to obtain them somewhere like here than let's say on eBay or something like that. But as you can see, I mean, this place is just full of stuff. I mean, I can just, just walk around, look, look at everything behind me as I'm just weaving through the aisles here with the shelves. And not only that, there's a whole back wall here full of pops as well, like tons of stuff. Like we have some uh, AAA anime exclusives, a bunch of anime pops here. There's even some out of box stuff up there. Uh, some things over there. I mean, you could go for days. Like look at this is like the whole, they have a lounge fly section if you're into that. It's just really cool all around. So I definitely recommend that you come check this out if you haven't yet. And I just found one that I want way up there if i can zoom in on that for you guys look at that we have tachaka funko hollywood exclusive see that's the thing too they have that one and over here i saw ang if you're into avatar um, they have these hollywood exclusives here but i think that i'm definitely gonna have to have them grab that one for me uh, Ooh, godzilla i'm like <laughs> sometimes i feel like uh the dog from up and i'm just like squirrel you know, and just like randomly my attention is diverted to something completely different. So excuse me for that. Ooh, look at this. The Goofy Art Series. What do you guys think about these art series pops? I know Amazon has had a lot of them lately. And as you can see here, most of this back wall is like exclusives. Uh, most of it anyway. There's a lot of different uh, random stickered exclusives. We have GameStop, Target, uh, Walmart. Uh, we have some 2020 convention stuff, Hot Topic, you know, there's all kinds of uh, different exclusive uh, stickers here. Uh, ooh, look at this. I, I already have this one, but we have April O'Neil, uh, the specialty series. Oh, look at that up here. We have the uh, treasure skeleton. That thing looks cool. Oh, and Adam Warlock. This was a Walgreens exclusive. I think it's missing the Walgreens sticker. And we do have, oh, look at this. This is a random Freddy Funko's vinyl. I've, I've never seen this before. I don't think it's that old, but I've never seen this one before. We have the Wienermobile, because who doesn't like the Wienermobile? That's definitely, uh, oh, and some of these are new too. Look at this. We have um, the Holistic George from Target. This is Seinfeld Pop. And uh, ooh, some of the boys. Who's into the boys? I'm, I'm excited for uh, the next season here coming up. I, I don't even know when it's, it's coming soon. I can't remember it. All four of the Golden Girls. I remember when these were like running low everywhere uh, some for some reason. Um, but these are actually the Golden Girls bowling. And I don't even know if I remember when those hit, but they're all bowling as you can see, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So many things to look at here though. It's really hard to even decide what I want to get because there's just like a Furby. Look at that, the Tiger Furby. That one's cool. So that about wraps it up for this video. This is the Bands for Arms shop. There's so many cool things to look at here. I definitely recommend that you come down. I will leave all their things linked uh, in the description, including the address. It's in Anaheim and uh, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a very unassuming shop that has a ton of stuff in it, as you can see here, just literally everywhere so many things so i definitely recommend that you come check this place out because i think that it's pretty awesome and there's definitely a lot to discover here so be sure to check all those things out uh, down in the description below and if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button and if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop and when i go on another pop hunt because it seems like it's been forever and I kind of miss it. And I miss you guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Big shout out to everyone over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. I send them stuff out of my collection every single month. So if you want to join up with that, definitely hit the link below. Uh, also down there is a link to my Facebook group as well, where we discuss all things collectible. So really appreciate all the support, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.